Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are doing played up. Once again, we are in our auto series and we are taking on toast. Uh, so specifically, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If you like this series, please give this video a thumbs up and every other part to this video a thumbs up. And if you have anything to add, leave it down in the comments down below. But with all that being said, if you want to be able to visit the restaurant, you need to join my discord. And then when I post that I'm going to be recording these, I normally leave it open for about an hour before I actually record them. You can go ahead and visit and go ahead and hang out with us. Also, we do other types of games over on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me over there, please do so also now we're gonna head in here to day one we're gonna push through we have three tables to start with here uh we do not have control of our cards but a couple things we do need to recognize as we're going into this auto toast world first things first is we can never fully automate toast right we can try to automate it and get some toast loaves started the problem we're going to run into is uh, of a backlog uh, we may be able to auto some parts of the toast but we'll never be able to auto the cutting or any of that things uh, but we might be able to auto some of the other parts of this uh, and that's where we're going to hopefully get to so uh, just note that there are going to be a focus on dishes probably uh, possibly right I'm not 100% guaranteeing that right now but dishes will probably be a focus on here auto serving will probably an option uh, and things like that. So we'll see what happens and how this ends up. But first things first, let's go ahead and get into day one. We have three groups. We're going to ring them all in, try to get a blueprint cabinet right off the bat and start chasing all the good stuff. So here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get the day and this video series on the roll. So there's one, two, three, and it's nighttime. So we're just going to quickly make our loaf of bread here. We know how many people we're going to end up getting. Uh, we're going to get five. It looks like it. Yeah, we're going to get five. So we just got to wait for this to pop out. And we'll go ahead and serve it. And I'm just going to do all five of them as fast as I can, just so we don't have to worry about too much. Um, and just serve them all up. And we can just kind of focus on getting everything in, out, and on with life. Uh, and get into day two. So uh, we know roughly how much money we're going to make uh, in the ballpark. Right, We're running solo. We've got five toasts. They're going to be of roughly $5 a piece. So what we can do is serve these up. You'll see we get $12. That's right. It's six now. So we're going to get six a piece. So we know we're going to get another $12. Uh, and we'll be at 46 which means we'll have enough for a blueprint cabinet. Uh, and uh, that will really be it. Uh, barring anything crazy like... Um, some kind of prep station or plates possibly I could look at. I could buy another table, but I think I'm going to save money. Uh, reason being is we know we got roughly 40 bucks um, and we need to get this research table in here uh, and we actually do know uh, that we're only going to make probably roughly uh, a little bit less than yesterday because unfortunately uh, we can't call all the groups in right away so we're only going to get the first three groups in here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to fire up the toast first then get all the groups in uh, and then i can clear a single out really quick and then hopefully get everyone in and out uh, without burying the run on day two so here we go let's get into day two so we're going to get one two three and then four so all we got to do is wait on this right as we talked about it's going to be a single first there it is. So we'll get the single out, right? We already talked about this, right? Our goal here is to try to multitask, get the single out. Uh, we didn't know we were going to get a single, but we did. Grab the plate, and we're golden, right? That's that's literally the day right there. Uh, so we were able to call in all the groups, make all the money we could. Go ahead and put all this down. We're going to make our five loaves of bread. Uh, I could start moving these over, right, like this. And then we're going to slice this one, put it in, grab this one, put it over. Grab this toast, put it in, put it over. I can just clear that person out really fast. And then we just got one more to go. And we can go ahead and serve everybody up their delicious toast and head them out on their way, uh, having a blast here. So we made $79. Uh, we will fall 20 short of anything extra outside of a research desk. Now, if we get another blueprint cabinet, that would be huge for us. Um, this is a tough call here. Okay, so... Um, we will get coffee tables later, but it allows us to make more money today, but we lose a day of research. So we are just going to buy the research desk. Um, and we're going to throw it down here and we're just going to go ahead and do our standard plan. 
and get this started up. Uh, we are going to lose a little bit of time today, right? So we're going to go, that's group two, group three. Um, and as soon as we can, we'll start serving up these singles, if there's any singles. There is two singles. That's good news for us, right? So we do know we're going to get some singles out of this. All right, we're going to go ahead and slap in the next group and the next group. All right, it's because we know we have singles, right? So we can go ahead and serve this up. I can grab this dish, put it over here, grab this one out. Uh, and actually, we don't need to do much more than that. So we've already got all of our stuff up here. We have a single here. I'm just going to toss them their dish, send that out. We got one and two. Grab this. There's three for that side. Make one more toast here. We got some research to do here in a second. There we go. And one more. And there we go. So we'll serve this one up. Uh, we'll go do our research really fast here. Uh, hopefully get a blueprint desk. That'd be a nice start to the day. Uh, we got the discount desk, so it's going to be discount copying. We got to go all the way around. Uh, that means we are going to be well behind. Uh, that means we will not. So tomorrow we'll get the copying desk after we research. So that means uh, day five we'll be looking at the copying desk. We won't get the blueprint desk until day six. Uh, for purchasing, um, we're going to grab uh, black coffee here, uh, keep our groups down um, because all this automatic stuff is going to be huge for us. So uh, that's what we're going to do now is we're going black coffee. Not even an option, right? Rushes are killer on us. Now, this is huge. As small as this might sound, this was a huge win for us. Uh, because we knew we were going to fall behind, we knew we were going to have issues with certain things. Um, so having a sink right off the bat, if we can get some soaking sink started or something like that, would be huge for us. On top of which, we got a kitchen floor protector for us to go ahead and fire up. Uh, and basically at this point, we have four groups. We're going to call everybody in right after I call the dough in uh, and just start serving people. So here we go, group of four groups. And let's get as much money as we can. So there's one, two, three, and four. We'll throw this baby down. Hopefully we don't have too many duos. We don't have a ton of duos. That's awesome. So we just got to get this first toast out. Oh, we have all duos. Okay, that stinks a little bit. And I didn't even think about the fact that we're going to have uh, to serve some coffee too. So we could technically lose here if we screw this up. Yep, so this is where I was worried about the issue. Right, we talked about this briefly. All right, so we're going to serve that. Uh, they'll get up and they'll leave and we'll be fine. So we're barely going to make that. Um, so if you are doing speed runs by chance, that is one of the things you can do. It is a little bit of a gamble, um, but it is definitely an option for you to go ahead and attempt to bring everybody in. But as I said, that could cause you issues in the late game uh, for this. Uh, meaning like, like right there, right? Like we had to... We pushed it so far that we could have actually technically lost the run there on day three uh, just because I was a little bit uh, frivolous with how I was throwing out the dishes. So we know they're going to want both want coffee, right? So we'll put the coffee down uh, and then I'll put the second one started and then go do our quick two pieces of research. We're going to get the copying desk up in the top section and then hopefully get a soaking sink in the bottom. We won't know until I can actually see it. I might be able to catch it from the sign, but we'll look at it tomorrow. I think it's a power sink, though, based on the large faucet I can see. Um, so there we go. That's one, two. Um, if I had to guess it's a power sink, and we're not going to take a power sink here. We do not want a power sink. We're going to be looking at automating dishes. ASAP is really what we're going to be chasing here. Um, yeah, it is a power sink, as we said. So tomorrow, things become the blueprint desk, right? Um, which means we'll be buying the blueprint desk. Um... A counter wouldn't be horrific for us because we could try to chase a freezer to freeze a piece of bread. We also could do a hob to try to make sure we have access to toast. Um, and we could also do a dining table to try to do like metal tables or something like that later in the game if we get individual dining or something great like that. Um, I think I'm going to chase a counter. Um, as much as I want to do a copying desk, I'm going to try to get my two blueprint desks up first. Uh, and hopefully that'll work out for us. And I think that's where we're going to go with, right? So we're going to go with those two. We've got four groups again. We're going to call them all in. Uh, I'm actually not going to call them in this time. Um, we're just going to go ahead and load this up, get this started. If we have a single, we can take it on, right? But we need to make sure we don't burn ourselves. So I'll grab like one group um, at least. And then we can get that in there. If it's a solo group, we're going to bring them all in. Yeah, it's a solo group, so we're going to bring them all in. We're going to bring everybody else in. 
Right, we, that's all we needed. We knew that's what we needed was a solo group. Um, after that, it just doesn't matter, right? Like, we will be fine one way or the other. I messed that up. It happens to the best of us, right? So now we're good, right? So we're going to toast this. Throw this over here. It's going to burn, possibly. Yep, I burnt another one because I wasn't paying attention. I was going too fast is really what it was, right? Uh, I will serve this over here to this customer. I'm trying to do too much. This is where the safety hob comes in, right? Like, having a safety hob here would be huge for us. It allows us to ensure... We have what we need when we need it. So we can send that customer out. We know they're going to take coffee. Um, so we're going to serve this top group toast. Uh, and then we will see if they want coffee also. If they do want coffee also, uh, we will serve them coffee also. But we are going to go ahead and do our research. We're going to get our blueprint desk. We uh, do have... Um, what you would call it coming up. We have uh, day five, so we're going to get our theme and our decorations. We got a chopping counter, so we're not buying that. We know we're buying a blueprint desk. That's going to be 60 bucks. Um, we're actually looking very good on money, honestly. Um, and more and more as I look at things, like I think starting out with like some kind of the right side is actually big for keeping the ability to ring in as many people as possible. Now, um, what do we have here? Charming is increased patience at the tables, but not queues outside. Exclusive is more money, which we know solo. We always need more money. So I try to chase the exclusive conversation here. So uh, we are going to throw this up here. Throw this over here. We're going to throw down some fantastic flooring. So we are pretty much done with our flooring in essence. Like I probably won't mess with this too much after this. Uh, we'll throw this wallpaper in here. And we'll grab this flooring and send it in there just to pretty it up just a little bit. Um, let's see if we get lucky and get three candelabras. We did not. So uh, we all know what's going to happen here, right? So we are not going to use our chopping counter. We are going to purchase our blueprint desk, right? This is what this could be one of our purchases today. Um, we're going to place that here. We are going to purchase our candelabra because it is 20. Um, and that is going to head out here. And just get tucked into a corner. All right here. That's fine for now. Um, from there. I'm going to stick a statue. And a rug in here. The reason I'm doing this. Is simply because. I could chase down. Two stars or three stars for increased Q patients. The rug could be useful for like right here. Uh, for messes um, and we'll see what we do right uh, over here we're going to always look for a research desk this turn would be great um, I think research desks are, are our big thing here so we're looking for research desks out of here if it gets towards the end of the day like a conveyor or something we'll grab two uh, but getting a research desk is going to be huge for us here I did not look at how many groups we have I should have probably done that before All right, so we have a single I think we have one extra group that I don't, I want to be able to run. Right, so we're just going to quickly serve up this custom. We have two singles, though. We could get lucky and serve both of them and then ring out the rest of the day. Right, so we're going to move this over here. Enjoy that. All right, so we knew there was a chance that this would happen. Serve these two customers and ring out the rest of the day, right? So we're going to make a little bit of bucks here. And we're golden. That's literally our entire day right there. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was so, so dumb. So dumb. I just, I always forget to do that. Like the first day that I have a blueprint desk, I'm trying to make so much money. Uh, and then I just totally forget that um, I should uh, be patient, right? That's the, oh crap, that was a mistake. Uh, I should be patient though is really what it comes down to, right? Like I need to be more patient uh, because we've got to wait for that blueprint desk to come through. And that's probably the hardest part, I think, of uh, switching from, like, oh, we're going for money, 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 to, oh, boy. Because uh, we could have cost ourselves, like, actually, a full day of, in essence, research right there, right? Like, we, we could have could have had a research desk, possibly, right? That's a possibility here. Um, we don't know until, obviously, we're there. All right, so we're going to place a coffee there. We're going to grab this, put it here. Here we go, one and two. 
uh, and we're off and running. Um, also, as a note, when you're doing toast, right, the sides on toast are actually kind of rough. Uh, and if you're running solo, um, you probably want to go left card normally. Um, I don't want to bring another starter in, right? That will bury us. Coffee's fast enough for us, so we're going to go splash zone. Um, we're just going to take the messes. We'll be fine. We know we have a pot stack in here somewhere, which sucks. Uh, we know get napkins is the other and we get a sink is the other. So this was the conversation we had. And this is why um, I want to put in. I think I'm going to try to chase down the sinks that we need first. And I'm going to try to get a freezer. No, I'm going to get a hob. I think I'm going to go for the hob first. Um, but because we have the time, I'm going to go ahead and just buy this rug. So we don't have any worry about messes over here. In essence, they don't throw too far. Um, but that should be it. So let's go ahead and get to the end of the roll. Let's not do any ringing because we do need access to that thing. Unless, of course, we finish it in some timely manner. So we will have opportunity to do research in the start of the morning. That is the advantage of toast, as a note. Um, we have a danger hop, right? So I might not say no to that danger hop. Um, the reason is that danger hop does allow you to go ahead... Uh, and cook bread really, really, really fast, right? Like, so that's kind of the benefit of it is you do have access to that extra moment where you can make some more bread if you needed to. All right, so we're going to place this up here. We're going to grab this, bring it up here, pull this down, put this here and here. Um, we'll put that there, drop that down there. I'm just going to do some dishes really fast. Serve this dish up. I just keep pushing through the day. I don't think we're going to get a research desk today again. Uh, we could have gotten it yesterday, and I just never knew it, right? Because I, I went just too fast, um, simply put. So that could have been on me. Oh, there's a research desk. Let's go. That's huge. So we're going to be moving into copying or discount. I think I'm going to go for a discount first. Um, even though we're doing pretty good on money, a uh, discount helps us with mass automation. Uh, no matter the situation you're in, right? Like, it just gets you moving just a little bit faster. There we go. Let's grab this toast, bring it down here. Put that on the table, serve them up. Let's go ahead and get this research finished. Uh, and then we can actually just ring out the day here. Uh, we got a soaking sink. Let's go. So we're just going to ring out the day, make some extra money here, as we talked about. Because we have our blueprint desk locked in. I don't know what we're going to get, but we are going to have access to one more customer. So we made an extra six bucks in essence um, because we we're running out the day because we got that research desk so early. And that's going to be it. So day seven of the books, we're sitting on 165. We have a research desk going in. I have a soaking sink coming out. Uh, I'm super excited to see where all this goes. Um... I go back and forth on the danger hop, right? So the reason I'm saying I'm going back and forth on the danger hop is it's 60 bucks, right? I think having a spare, what's the right word to use here? Um, a spare, I'm gonna go for a safety hop. Because I can start a loaf, right? I think safety hobs are better for long term. Uh, short term danger hobs are better, right? It, I just, I think long term we're going to be better off with that. Um, we want another research desk if we can get it. Um, I do want to try to hit up and find out what that first research desk is right away. Um, because we can also know what we want to lock in uh, or just lock this in. But I do want to get this up and running. So I want to see if I get lucky with a research desk. Um, I know I should probably grab the blueprint desk. So we got our second blueprint desk. Let's grab it. We're okay. Um, we'll buy that blueprint desk. Get that fired up. And then we'll get this fired up. And we'll serve these two customers. And we'll be good to go. Um, the reason you want to do two blueprint desks, right? So we've... I'm sure people... Uh, I think I've seen a comment or two about it um, specifically. Uh, but the reason you want to do two blueprint desks... Uh, is actually so that you can control both of your extra items. Um, what I mean by that is every uh, every five days, or every, not every day, every day there are five items that you can go ahead and grab. Uh, these five items, three of them are set um, between the 
basics, right? Basics meaning uh, either counters, tables, or a counter table, hob, or a sink, right? So those are your basics. You will get one of those, um, three of those every day. And then you have two bonus ones where you get two random things that come out of the pile of uh, everything else that's not upgraded, right? So because we get non-upgraded uh, options, uh, you can control those by having the blueprint desk cycle through uh, and tell you what it needs or what it's going to do. Uh, and then that's why you want to do two and not three or four, because then it starts replacing your staples. Now, as a note, later in the game, that's actually not terrible, right? Because you're not chasing... Um, you're not chasing conveyors and, and all these other random things, which I should just bring this all the way in, right? We just realized that uh, I'll take that three bucks is what we got. We'll finish out this research really fast and we'll be done. Um, we did get our safety hob. That's good news. So we'll be spending 120 bucks tomorrow. I don't know why I still did this, but that's fine. Enjoy your fresh coffee. Put this one here. Serve that custard with that one. We'll wait for this to serve. And we'll get this off and running. And there we go. So uh, we're going to grab our second blueprint desk. So basically, I guess what I'm saying is once you have enough of your tables, once you have, and even if you don't have enough of your tables, right, you can still just push five blueprint desks. Um, I'm super excited that we got another blueprint candidate. And we also got a mixer. Okay, so that is actually a big start for us that our random was a, a mixer today. Um, we're going to buy the safety hub. We're going to put this mixer in. We are going to put the sink in because we do need more soaking sinks. We've talked about this. We are going to buy this blueprint desk. Um, and we need to chase down another blueprint desk, right? So um, I don't think I want to do too much in there, but maybe we can get a safety hop and get lucky, right? So we're going to buy this, place this here. We're going to buy the safety hub. That's going to go here. So I don't have to pay attention too much. Actually, we're going to put it here because our toast will go here. Um, because, okay, so as a note, loaves will cook faster on nature hobs and on um, this. There is a note that I do need to mention that I should change this up, meaning I'm not going to use this just yet. I thought I was going to, um, but I'm not because I don't want to deal with messes back here yet until I get some kind of robot. So that is the catch, right? So if you use an oven, you don't get a mess. If you use a safety hob, you have a chance at a mess. If you can centrally locate the mess, you should be fine, which I actually could do that, come to think of it. So I could just flip-flop these, like so. And then I could, as we say, Move all of this up one, all right? This is this is a little bit of a change, um, but that's fine. So this is where our bread's gonna sit. But we want to cook it in this first. We want to have this hob and then this here. So um, actually, we should flip flop these. So then our toast comes. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. in case I need it, right? So put this here. So basically what I'm looking at is how the fastest way between the plates um, and this hob so I can grab toast and push it out. Um, so we'll put our spare toast in here. Uh, we will make a second loaf and have it over here and we can have all of our extra stuff down here. But with that being said, what are we chasing? We are chasing two research desks would be huge for us. Uh, we can start looking at I think research desks are a big thing. Um, we need to get a discount desk uh, is definitely the big thing we need to get. So let's go and get this day on the roll. Um, let's go and get that fired up. As we talked about, right, we don't want to use too much of the safety hob. Um, just because then we know we have to clean up messes. Really is what it comes down to. Oh, there's a research desk. There's one. So we want two. We want two here. We already know that, right? That is a known entity for us. We'll put one of these here. I'm going to make another loaf. This is just to be safe uh, in case we need the second loaf is really what this is going to come down to. All right, so we got this going here. Got this going here. Let's pop this one out here. And also, you can do two loaves this way, right? So I can make a loaf into here, serve that one, run through here, serve it into this one, clean up this mess a little bit. 
Uh, we do have expanded messes, don't forget. So uh, we are going to see messes everywhere from the safety hub, just as a note. All right, there we go. Put that down there. Trap station wouldn't be horrible, but I don't see the value in it just yet. All right, we're not at prep station level, I don't think, yet. There we go. Uh, also, uh, I did learn this the other day, uh, and I do want to share this with everybody. Uh, if you did not know, uh, water from the sink is treated the same as a mess on the floor. So uh, the messes on the floor take a priority of... Or any mess, so that includes the water from the sink, will take a priority of hitting the an open section before hitting a already filled section by a mess. Uh, so that tells us that we will have to you have to do longer on the sinks in order to make it um, land on the right spot, right? So there you can see it went to that fourth slot. That's why we got it, um, and that's why those four spots will stay pretty clean. Uh, this is coffee. Yep, yep, right. All right, we're gonna chop this up really quick. Throw that down there. We'll throw this coffee over here. Serve up our coffee up top. Grab this. Throw this down here. Throw this here. Um, a good thing we made a second loaf. Um, we should have grabbed a mixer or something of that nature right there. All right, so we don't want to serve that top group. I almost did. Uh, I would have forgotten my research. I've done that, I think, on almost every single one of my auto runs so far. Um, is most definitely doing. We got another danger hop that stinks. Uh, let's see if we can get another soaking sink. We got a heated mixer. Not great for us, but we can use it technically. Um, and a power sink. So we're not going to use garbage uh, from that entire pile. That's not even a joke. It's pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna grab these dishes, throw them off here, put one there, grab our coffees, and make our extra $3. <clears throat> which is normally a dollar, but because we're running solo, we do have a little bit extra money that comes in, uh, which is nice for us. But um, we're gonna go ahead um, and keep moving here. We're on day 10 prep, which means we get another card, uh, which means tomorrow is gonna be fun stuff. Uh, we're not taking the rush, we are gonna take ice cream dessert. Um, that's not gonna change our group numbers, which kinda sucks. Uh, as a note, uh, that is kind of crappy for us here, uh, but we're going to place that here. And let's see what we get here. Um, we're going to chase another sink. We're going to chase a counter. I don't hate the heated mixer. I want to see. So, so there's a thing I want to see on the heated mixer, right? And, and part of me wants to test it because it is still 60. Um, but I wonder if... So I've, I I think the answer I know, right? I think I wonder if if on the heated mixer, if it'll cook, how that how the action priority is, right? So if I put a heated mixer down, will it make it a pie first, or will it keep it a dough ball? And I think it keeps it a dough ball. Um, actually, I'm thinking back to I think I've done this before. Um, so I think it makes it a dough ball. So we're not gonna chase that as a heated mixer, um, and we're gonna try to chase our we're gonna try to get a freezer. Let's try to get a freezer. We've already got one safety hop. That's good for us. We need one more research desk. Um, let's get today on the roll. So three, two, one, let's go. We know we're not going to get much tomorrow. So we're just going to go ahead, hit some research. <clears throat> uh, we're looking for a research desk. Um, there's one. And now we can grab like coffee tables or whatever we need uh, as an option here. Uh, because we have the accessibility to do it right. So there's our copy desk, so we're going to go... We might buy the copy desk outright. Um, that's a chopping counter. Ew. We really did not get good on this today, did we? That's unfortunate. Put this down here. We got a floor buffer. We don't want that. So copying goes becomes a blueprint desk and then becomes a discount desk, right? So we'll probably store the copy desk depending on how much money we make today. Coffee, there you go. Um, I think I might lock in that floor protector. No, 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 I don't see a value in that. Um, 
coffee table. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so we can bring in the rest of our customers now. Not even joking. We're gonna come. We're going all in here. No reason not to. So one, two, three, four. It's fine. Make it work. I might fall behind here. Actually, this might have been an oopsie. Oh, we're okay. We got lucky. Serve that one up. Luckily, decently fast at ice cream. A coffee. There we go. We're golden. Easy peasy. We made some bucks. That was the key. Um, we knew we were going to run a little bit low on cash. So we decided, I decided to go ahead and do it. It was a little bit risky, right? I'm not trying to downplay the risk of that. There was definitely some serious risk behind pulling all those customers in. Um, but we got lucky and got some singles. But we needed the cash because I think I'm going to buy the copying desk tomorrow. So I can start duplicating the things I need to duplicate um, and hopefully get the discount desk the next day. Because um, outside of that, I don't think we need too much. Let's see what we get. We get an ice cream and a dessert. Nope, we get a vanilla and a chocolate. We'll come back up here. Chocolate, chocolate, vanilla. And there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll throw this on here just for ourselves for fun facts. Um, because we did our research in the day, we know we're getting a coffee table. 